everybody, this is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. That is the official Discovery Channel website all about space. And this is your weekly wrap up where I take you through the three biggest things that happened in space last week. That said, let's jump right into it here. You guys probably heard about a gigantic explosion that happened in Alaska last week, last Sunday to be uh, precise. The Redoubt volcano erupted and sent an ash cloud 65,000 feet into the stratosphere. So this is the volcano, clearly, it's blowing up, and this is the ash cloud. Now that ash cloud was seen from space. Look at this picture. This is taken from a geosynchronous satellite, meaning it stays in one spot above the Earth, goes in rotation with it, and it caught the ash cloud, this little black splotch right there, rising up from the ground. Pretty amazing. So that's a 65,000 foot ash cloud reaching into space, and I think this picture was taken on March 26th. So there you go, this blue outline is the border of Alaska, and we're looking from the west toward Alaska from Asia in this satellite photo. Amazing shot, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, second bit of news I have for you is about this. Space Shuttle Discovery landed last week safely. All, uh, all the astronauts on board, everything is great. They installed a new solar array, as I told you about, so the space station's at full power. And the other thing they did, and I didn't tell you about, was this. This is a water recovery system that they fixed. Okay, what's a water recovery system? Uh, think about it for a second. When you're in, in space, you have to go to the bathroom, uh, you sweat, you perspire, when you breathe out water. All that liquid needs to be recycled to support a bigger crew on the space station. Currently, in fact, it used to be that only three people could stay on the space station at, one, at any longer duration of time, uh, except when the shuttle came to dock, had an extra seven people on board. But now they can support a crew of six because they fixed this. This takes your pee, it takes your sweat, it takes all the stuff you breathe out, and it recycles the water and makes it drinkable. So, very cool news. We fixed the centrifuge that separates the liquid from the solid waste. Kind of gets sort of gross there, but yeah, it's all fixed and it's ready to go. So that's great news. Space station operational. Uh, next thing I have for you is the moon. Okay, we, we see the moon every night, so what's the big deal? Google Lunar X Prize uh, team Odyssey Moon wants to grow this on the moon when they send their rover up. This is a flower. This is not a mustard seed. Uh, sorry, a mustard flower, but it's a flower, and I thought I'd use the visual aid there. Anyway, Odyssey Moon wants to send up a little mini greenhouse on their uh, lander. Uh, this is part of a $30 million prize to send back HD quality video, some other sort of data from the moon. Uh, using private money only. So this is a $30 million prize to do that. And on top of all that, uh, Odyssey Moon thinks they can grow flowers on the moon in a little tiny greenhouse, like a crystal enclosed thing. So that's pretty amazing. Um, I'm sure some people will be upset about it because the moon is a lifeless void for all we know. And sending a flower there to grow is pretty crazy. So anyway, that's your wrap up for this week. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and if you could please check out my blog, that's Space Disco, that's at blogs.discovery.com, see the link down there, and forward slash space underscore disco. And also be sure you check out uh, dsc.discovery.com forward slash space, that's, or space.discovery.com, take your pick. That's the Discovery Space site. Thanks for tuning in, and see you on the site. <laughs>